Now I was up on the sand dunes when I saw a large truck approaching this young bull. The bull got up and charged the truck. This truck then re-approached. The truck repeated its actions of backing up and getting too close again. Until eventually it did move off and move away. I pulled out my phone and I took a couple of photos of this bull. I love sea lions since I encountered my first sea lion pakaki in February of 2020. I was at Surat Bay in the Catlins and I was just left aghast. They are huge and they're so graceful despite being a really large animal. Absolutely magical. To behold this species that has been here long before humans and made this incredible comeback to mainland. I mean, who does that? Who returns to lands that they've been eradicated from prior? Amazing. The New Zealand sea lion is found nowhere else in the world. But before 1993, they hadn't been seen on mainland Aotearoa since the 19th century. Historically, sea lions were distributed all over New Zealand, all the way up to kind of North Cape. Unfortunately, because of commercial sealing um, and Māori subsistence hunting, the sea lions here in Otago were completely wiped out, leaving a small remnant population down on the sub-Antarctic islands. We've had mating down here since 1993 from a sea lion called Mum, who founded the population here. Commercial sealing bans meant that they could come back up here and they weren't being hunted and therefore had all these safe zones on the beach where they could breed and propagate the population. Shan's encounter with the harassed sea lion had a profound effect and inspired her to take action. I contacted the local council, Clutha District Council, among many other entities. I think in total I wrote about 30 letters and I just didn't receive satisfactory responses. So I decided to create a petition on change.org proposing the Clutha District Council, whose jurisdiction is the Catlins beaches, restrict vehicles on beaches to protect sea lions, pakaki and yellow-eyed penguins hoi ho that call these beaches home. The petition received over 5,000 signatures. The pressure was on. Now, the Clutha District Council are deliberating a new bylaw that could completely ban vehicles from 12 of the Catlins beaches. It's a contentious issue that has polarised the local community. One of these citizens is Lyndon, a local tour guide. We basically use the beaches to show tourists the beauty of the Catlins. The beaches to me in the tourist industry, being a tour guide, uh, are very important. It's one of the biggest aspects of the Catlins is to show people the beaches and the wildlife associated with it. Being a tour guide, I'm also Department of Conservation concession guide. So that means that I can actually, with the blessing of Department of Conservation, show sea lions off. Lyndon has fears the bylaw could put him out of business. The bylaw itself um, would impact one of our tours. There's an ATV tour. So if they were to bring a bylaw in, it does affect that part of the tours, and it's a big part of our business. On the 23rd of June, the Clutha District Council held a public meeting discussing this issue. Shan was amongst those speaking for the proposed bylaw to ban cars from local beaches. Jane Young, a Catlins local, also spoke for the bylaw. The impact that vehicles on beaches have on the wildlife, that's the main thing that I was pushing in my submission. 
Despite their return to mainland Aotearoa, it isn't the end of the New Zealand sea lion's struggle. Professor Bruce Robertson from the University of Otago has researched historic sea lion populations by looking at genetic variation. And it indicates that in the past there was probably somewhere around about 60 to 70,000 sea lions. Uh, current estimates only put the population at around about 12,000, so that sort of suggests that um, the population hasn't recovered from, from sealing, basically. And there are still threats to their survival. So the impact of cars for sea lions is, is kind of one, of one of disturbance. A sea lion's not used to a great big metal vehicle driving around, so it can be quite distressing for them. A big piece of evidence that suggests sea lions are not living harmoniously with humans in the context of driving on beaches is that sea lions have managed to establish themselves here in Otipoti and in Rakiora, where there aren't vehicles on beaches. However, they're really struggling to settle in the Clutha region because there are vehicles on beaches. In Otipoti, Dunedin, where cars are already banned on beaches, sea lion populations are recovering. But as their numbers increase, they are giving birth deeper into the sand dunes and closer to the roads. This last year we've had two pups killed by cars. There is a potential as those populations of sea lions start increasing that interactions are going to become more prevalent and, and more common. And I think that's something that needs to be addressed. Catlins 2 has put a submission in uh, against the bylaw just on the mere fact of that policing. And who's going to administer that policing? There's not many beaches we can actually drive on in the Catlins. So a wee bit of, as my right as a local and a New Zealander, being able to drive on the beaches. It was the same argument over and over again nobody should be able to take that right away from me. I think that's wrong. It's education. And there are signs around saying it stay at least 10 metres away from wildlife. I've heard councillors suggest that, you know, we shouldn't put all these resources into enforcement. All we should need to do is education. Well, sorry, when push comes to shove, there are people who don't share these values and you've got to have the regulations, you've got to have the carrot and the stick. New Zealand's even getting more and more that way that we are punishing the majority for the minority. The Clutha Council were caught in a catch-22 rights of wildlife or rights of people. Whatever the outcome, not everyone would be pleased with the result. Now, a decision has been made. Thank you. Uh, urgent business on my From the 1st of January 2023, vehicles will continue to drive on beaches. Yet, they are required to do so in a way that doesn't threaten the safety of people or wildlife. Vehicles cannot drive on the dunes except to access the beach. And they must stay below the high tide line. The bylaw has not gone through and everything is roses again. It will probably be revisited again uh, with some special conditions, but no, I don't think uh, it'll ever be stopped. It's part of the Catlin's birthright. It is what it is. We've all legally fairly voted. And the trajectory of New Zealand conservation is that vehicles on beaches is not going to be something that we will be able to do for much longer. Majority of the regions in New Zealand already have laws in place and more and more people are discovering the Catlins and recognising its rare beauty and wildlife. We're all part of this amazing living world. We've all got a duty to try and protect it. Be it next year, 10 years time, it will get across. I'll always advocate for sea lions because they can't speak for themselves. <laughs>